went back to Cleveland with their backs to the wall. Could the Cavaliers do it? Could they fashion one more miracle and send the playoffs into a deciding seventh game at Boston? It seemed as though they just might. Boston, a 22-19 lead in the quarter. Cleveland, 46-43 at the half. Then late in the third quarter, Cleveland raced off eight quick points to take a 69-61 lead. Boston came back with six great, 69-67 at the three-quarter mark. For the Cavaliers, it all boiled down to the final 12 minutes. Tied at 69, Cleveland up by four, tied at 76, tied at 78. A three-point play by marvelous Nate Thurman gives Cleveland a three-point edge, and the fans went wild. Boston right back, 82-81 on Cowan's tipping off a rebound. The Cavs call time at 3.59, and now we pick up the action. In the 12, 3.57 left. Clemens coming ahead with the dribble. Boston leads by one point. Clemens over the timeline, bounce left side to Brewer. Brewer on the left against Kaversky. Brewer to the circle. Top side, left wing to Carr. Carr moves in on Kaversky, then backs off. Then to the circle. Jump shot, Carr. Do it! Carr with 24. Cleveland leads 83 82. Into the fourth court, stop. Stop sideline right. Scott against Carr. The bouncer to Collins. Collins in against Thurman. Stop, double pump. Stop, blocked by Thurman on the line. Thomas on the baseline will inbound. Right side, Collins. Now to Scott. Scott right wing. Top side, White. White between the circle. Flush side to Collins. Collins against Thurman. Collins to the circle. Give to White. Right on the left side. White pass to Kaberski in the corner. Check by Russell. Back out to White. Long bomb. Good. Jojo White with 23. 84-83 Boston. Three minutes to go in the game. Into the fourth court. Clemens. Clemens left side to Brewer. Brewer on the left. Boston leads 84-83. Top of the circle, Brewer. Brewer against Kaberski, left of the circle. Top side to Russell. Russell on the wing from 25. Good! Russell with seven. Cleveland leads. 85-84. Down the floor, steal! The ball by Brewer from Collins. Down there, ball. Into the fourth court, Brewer with it. Clemens out front. Left side, Russell. Russell on the left. 220 left. Cleveland leads by one. Russell on the left wing, seven on the shot clock. Russell, pass it to Thurman. Thurman up to Russell. Three on the shot clock, 25 footer, does it off the rim, rebound Silas. Threw it outside to Scott. Scott over the timeline on the left side. Scott brings it back up front. Two minutes to go in the game. Scott on the left wing. Left side is Jojo White. White sideline left. 155 to go, Cleveland by a point. Collins sideline left. Collins off on the left sideline to White. White on the left side, long bomb by Jojo, good! White with 25, 86-85 Boston. Clemens gets the ball, looks, waits, flips to Thurman. Thurman back to Clemens. Clemens brings it out toward the middle of the floor, between the circles. Clemens left wing, left side to Russell. Russell on the left against Kaversky around the Clemens pick. Russell top of the key, right side top, oh, stolen by Scott! That did it. The Cavaliers finally had run out of miracles. The Celtics put the icing on the cake 94 to 87 to move into the NBA Finals against the Phoenix Suns. And the Cavaliers went home with six months to think about what might have been if Jim Jones had been available. It had been an incredible end to an incredible season. The Cavs and their fans had come of age. For the Cavaliers, it was really not the end. It was the beginning. They had finally established themselves as one of the NBA powerhouses, a feat that deservedly earned for Bill Fitch the honor as Coach of the Year. 148,603 Fanatic fans had seen the seven games of the Coliseum, an incredible average of 21,229 per game. Disappointed at the final verdict? Yes. But they had been part of the miracle in Richfield, the Cavalier happening, and they would never forget it. Thank you.